Hi guys, it's Raven Scry. Today I'm going to share a journey with you. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I facilitate quantum and cosmic consciousness sessions. I felt to share this with you. Uh, it has some interesting insights around time and our experiences and the collective as a whole. Now I've edited this session and where there would normally be more space in between, it's been cut as to keep the sharing shorter. And I'm also the, acting as the role of the facilitator, um, just to guide and ask any more questions to bring out any more information as we move along the path. So let me know if you enjoy this session and any insights that might come as you are listening. Enjoy. Let's begin. So as I expand my consciousness, I'm in the company of others. It's like I'm in a circle or a gathering of community. I'm being taken to a spot on the beach on the south coast of Australia near the rocks. And I sense a group of elders, a group I'm sitting with, like a meeting. I can see a light coming down from the sky tall beings, light beings, light beings, the extension of oneself. I ask, what's the purpose of being shown this? It's like the light beings are standing over us and in a way they are an extension of ourselves. Where this group convenes, I can see all this other heightened energy coming down into the meeting. And I ask, what's the purpose of the meeting? To show you, you and ideas. One of the people in the gathering take my hand and walk me along the beach. I walk with them. I can feel the sand under my feet. And I ask, where are we going? Uh, we're going to the water. It's like we're walking out off the sand and into the water. It feels like it's connecting to other times and other lives. A great connection to the water. I can feel this expansive connection, expansive water, so blue. There is fish in the water and the presence of the water. And I ask, help me to understand uh, what's the purpose of being in the water. We come from the water. We are the water. We are the water tribe. You must not forget this heritage. It's time to lift. It's time to become one with the water again, to remember who we fully are. It's all energy. It's all around us in everything that we do. Now I feel like I'm struggling here. And I ask, well, help me to understand why are you struggling? I feel locked under the water, restricted, like there's some sort of chain around me. There's a darkness, and although I can see the water and feel the expansion, I'm caught. I look at my hands and I look at my body. It's like I'm caught in a net. I'm remembering being so at one, so expanded with everything, but something happened and I got caught in this net and sudden restriction is upon me, is all around me in my existence. I've got these heightened powers and this gifted expansion, but suddenly I'm caught in this net in the water. And I ask, well, help me to understand what's happened here. It's like I got left behind I came in with a crew of others, but I got caught and they, they left and they're still in the water, but somehow I've got caught in this net and I feel sadness and this feeling of being separated from them. As I'm in the water, caught, I sense these beings or like orbs around me. They appear as light. It's like their spirit. I'm restricted in my movement, but they're there and present with me here. I can sense them. It's like I'm struggling to get out of this net. Tell me more about these beings around you. 
safety and reassurance. It's like they want to support me through this struggle that I'm in. I'm caught in this net and I'm struggling, but I'm seeing and feeling their presence and they're supporting me and around me through this. And I ask, well, tell me more about these beings. It's like they are light, they are orbs of light, and I can feel their presence, but I feel restricted and like I can't move. And even though I can feel their presence, it feels like they're not helping me out of this, this net being stuck. My wrists are bound. It's like I'm being taken now to death. I'm having flashes of other times coming in, other times when I've been captured and I'm being taken to my death. The orbs are supporting me through the transition and the crossover. And I ask now, so if we move to the event of your death and leaving the planet, tell me what you experience. I see my body limp and I've left. It's like I can feel me in the presence of me everywhere and all things. It's like I've just dispersed into everything. These beings have supported this crossover. And I ask, tell me more about this crossover. This expanded awareness I was existing in and then I got caught and trapped and now put back into the expanded state but out of my body now. It's like I was in my body with the expanded awareness and it travelled through my body, got caught and put to death and then back in a totally expanded awareness. Tell me the purpose of being shown all of this, to remember who you are, why you've come, the purpose of this journey. You are an expanded being, but sometimes it may not feel like it. Acceptance, acceptance of what is, is needed, presence. And I ask, what can we offer to this experience of the past that was caught and trapped and killed? I look at his eyes open now under the water. It's like he is me, I am him, but I'm viewing him rather than in his body now. I feel his every awareness, his energy. He's everywhere. It's like he's everything, everywhere and everyone all at once. He is me. What's the purpose of being shown this? For the community, trusting the process of life and death and transition, our true nature is expanded and exists in everything and everyone. We come here for learning in these ways. Wisdom can be shared. We come in as powerful beings and we leave as powerful beings. There is no separation. We are all one. We are always supported in everything that we do, in every experience. Life is opening in so many different ways at the moment and through our expanded consciousness we are all connected in every way. We are each other. There is no separation. And we must learn that there is no separation. I ask, how does understanding that there is no separation help us through this? To help us to understand the shifts that have to take place, even if they are hard learnings and we feel bound to things and caught up in things, we are all connected. I'm being shown time and the consciousness of time now. My attention is being brought to time. Time does not exist. It's a perception. And I ask, tell me more. We have to travel to heightened states of consciousness to be able to see outside of time and space. I'm moving up and out further and further now into more of an expanded state and 
I realize that everything is happening all at once, simultaneously. Everything past, present, future, it's all there. It's all alive. It's all active at once. And I ask, well, help, help me to understand the purpose of time. It's like it was created as some sort of a restriction, a concept of time, of restriction or limitation. I'm being shown again, me with my hands tied up as the man in the water and being made aware that even though he was there bound, and watching him dying under the water, he was everywhere and everything at that time. And it was only my perception of the death and the state that he was in. But he hadn't died, he was everywhere. And I ask, how does this relate to time? We are everywhere all the time, in everything, through everything. We share energy with each other. We come inside and outside of each other's bodies and consciousness, feeling it. It just is. There is no time. It's just a concept. Everything is taking place all at once. Everything. But it's like everything that's ever happened in the past and the present and the future is being shown to me now like a wall of information outside of time. Time is a limited construct which can make us feel bound with an idea of being separate from some other time and experience when we're not separate. It's all happening at once. It's like our higher selves are in some way shut down. Parts of our higher selves are shut down through this idea of time. There is no such thing. It's like I'm shown a whole wall of information, everything happening all at once. In time, it's experienced in a sequence, but outside, it becomes very intuitive as to where we feel drawn in that moment. In truth, you can do or go anywhere, see anything outside of the time construct. We must not think about time we must be present in the moment, which is timeless, realising how everything is communicating all at once, all our energies through all times and space from past, present, future, working together, pulling on each other. Every experience, like when I was caught in the water, is an experience for all when I was caught in the net, I felt so isolated and alone. But it was about this learning, this experience. It's all about the experience. We are all trading experiences energetically. We are all experiencing to create understanding, which is part of the collective learning. We are timeless beings in everything we do. And I ask, what wisdom can be shared here? We are never alone. We are always connected to ourselves and each other on all levels. We are one big energy connection always. There is no separation. We understand time more as a restriction. You are an expanded being and always have been. Allow it to be so. Live in your expansion and find freedom in this way. We are all around you and supporting you in every way. Now I'm being shown the rabbit um, that died on the path the other day. I mentioned it in another video. And I experience that death and I feel the release as it crossed over into every awareness. And it just is. My energy, my consciousness is inside that rabbit and that experience and that learning, that learning has returned to me also through sacrifice of its experience, its existence. Uh, the individual experience is supporting us all to grow and evolve as a collective no matter what it is. 
Everything and every experience that each individual goes through is a learning for everybody, helping to grow the knowledge of the collective and to support change for evolution. And although each individual hasn't lived every experience, we are all connected and we all receive the learning from others' experiences. Therefore, some of us don't have to live through certain things, certain themes, but we can still evolve collectively because energetically these experiences have been integrated from another. It is all about experience. We are not separate. We are here now. We are everywhere now. Time is an illusion and we have arrived. Blessings to all. Ravenscry signing off.